All right, guys, in today's episode of From Mill to Still, we are going to do a before exploration of the cotton mill. We're going to check it out as it stands when we purchased it. I got Lee over here, got Jordan over here, Bree's behind the camera. Team leader is Marty. He's going to be guiding us through this expedition. So we're going to get into it. I'm not going to do too much of what's going to be. We're just going to enjoy it how it is. So stay tuned. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe because we're going to have some awesome content coming up. And that's it. Let's get into it. Robbie, host, narrator. Lee, veteran treasure hunter, explorer. Jordan, the other guy. Bree, oh, safety coordinator, camera holder. <laughs> Marty, team leader, milk drinker. here we're gonna start here with this really cool old textile machine we don't know what it is yet but my father-in-law will so I'm gonna bring him back out here and we'll go over it but it's got lots of cool gears and sticks and what is this this is like a socket wrench or something this is a pretty cool machine I think it's a little older than you what do you think Marty yeah, that's the treasure back here. Oh, are we going to go back here? Is there a treasure back here? Where we got this old cash register. Oh, look at this. Whoa! Oh, my God, stand. All right, let's keep exploring. This is the original section of the bill. They did an addition back in 1916, the new addition, and switched the, the four joists over to real heavy timber construction. These are, on average, around 22 inches squared by 23 feet, and they span to the middle of the mill, making the mill around 46 feet wide. We found a map. Is this a treasure map? No, it's not that little. It's like a battered version of Oh, nice. Bree, come check this out. These are old textile patterns from, you got a date on there? Um, I don't. We have some other That's cool. Rubella fabric. Cool. That's an anchor, that's neat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So we colored it. We got our next t-shirt design. <laughs> Marty, I think you need a clipboard as the team leader. You should carry the clipboard. That makes you the boss. Marty, but look at the cool valves. What valves? Wow, you can fit inside of this valve, it's so big. Sprinkler valve, last inspection was 1982. Yes, of cool. course. So it's basically new. That is really cool. I think this is part of that machine over there. It's got like a thousand needles on it. Whoa, look at that old cotton. This thing did stuff and things back in the day. Pretty cool. Okay, how do y'all on this one would say? Come on. I think it's in the back. Maybe. What's that guy? Yeah. Um, braces. Yeah, the other one said these were like done in Austria for like Austrian Mardi Gras or something. Especially at the party ones right there. Oh, yeah, we got circus art. I don't think we'll be keeping any of this stuff, but I'll keep in that one. Cool. How about the what's up? Yeah, there you go. Damn. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's so cold. I think it's empty. It feels like it's empty. Still cold up. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. From the 70s, last tested. What? In 81, I think. <laughs> Open them up. Nope. This one? No. Which one did you pick the treasure with? 
I don't know, you gotta find it. Did you look to see what was in this one? I think this goes on my machine in there. Is I'm not sure. Did my like spool what? thread? Kind of neat. Oh, this looks like where they used to punch in. Oh yeah, what time clock? Yeah, for like the original time cards. <laughs> no go. So this is, I think this is an old boiler room. Um, so like this was the old air compressor, I think, that powered the sprinkler system. But it's really not that old, I think, because I think it looks like they got it here on 88. I was looking to see if there's like a manufacturer date on it, but I don't know. 1952? Down here? That's kind of cool. Be interesting to see if it still works for sure. And then keep going. We got this old oil fired furnace. I guess ran the heat in this place for a while. Uh, pretty sure this is not operational, but uh, pretty cool. Not sure what this room was, but it's kind of weird. Definitely be something cool. Right now it's a little bit like a dungeon. Uh, but there's some really old brickwork. You can see where they've like already filled in holes and stuff. But I think this is all original brick from 1875. Um, which I think we're gonna try to restore as much of it as possible. But it looks pretty pretty rough to me. Uh, definitely gonna, gonna be a lot of work for the uh, brick masons out here. <gasps> Look at this. What is this? All right, guys, how about we go exploring upstairs? Let's make moves. Let's go. I'll follow you guys. Come on, I'll race you. This is the oldest legal rum in the Carolinas. Come on, Brady. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna open up all these windows. That's gonna be super exciting. Lee's gonna demo all these walls. Anything cool over here, Lee? Some weights for this scale and banding machine. Super cool. Old, old cart. Turn that into a merchan merchandise rack. You like that, Lee? And thousands and thousands of whatever this is. Ooh, we got a bathroom? Whoa. Marty, uh -oh. don't use that bathroom. Marty, let's go back here. Flee, free. These old, uh, what, do you think, what do they call these? Like uh, cafe tables or yeah, something? Cafe booths? What do you think? Is our bar too fancy to have people sit in something like this? Up oh, here, yeah. Up here, yes, downstairs, totally usable. Careful. Great for employees mm -hmm. for taking a break. There's another bathroom, that's cool. This sink is epic. We're definitely putting, we're gonna refinish this, Lee, and put it in the, um, make sure we don't fall in a hole back here. We're gonna, we're gonna refinish this sink and put it downstairs somewhere. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mill looks pretty big from down here. I'm yeah. standing on the back wall. Marty, how fast can you run to the other side? Ready? These two have way too much energy. All right, dudes, I'm gonna follow you upstairs, all right? Follow you upstairs. Hey, Marty, why don't you take a chill pill? All right, we're on the top level. Welcome to the slasher room. Oh uh, yeah, I love that thing. What is the slasher room? Bree, do you know what the slasher room is? I do not. Me neither. We're gonna have to ask Peter. Aka my father-in-law. What's in the thing? Anything cool? 
rods, rods, tubes, pipes. Okay. All right, here's another potential decoration. These things actually have hooks on them so they can be joined together. And uh, what the hell are we gonna do with them? I'm not gonna throw them away. Yeah. Cause I'm a hoarder. There's too many of them to do. <laughs> right? There's too many to, to ditch. We'll find something. They must have had a purpose. Got some more carts. That's a cool cart, Lee. This room is just freaking gorgeous. Picture this with the windows opened back up. I would fresh coat to paint it, but I think the wall is really cool just as it is. Brick. Just with the brick the way it is, right? Yeah. Yep, sunsets over there. Lee, Breeze, can you picture doing your cocktail dinners and cocktail classes in here? I would love nothing more. What if we film Alebriated in here? That would be amazing. That would be, cool. be cool, right? On the slasher room cart. Yeah, maybe when it gets a little cooler. I'm not going to go outside with Marty here, but just through that door is uh, the roof, which used to be a floor. So the rooftop bar could be right up those stairs through that door. Pretty cool, huh, Marty? And that door's locked. It's nailed shut. Three, two, one. Don't forget to, to smash, smash that, that like button! button. <laughs> nice, nice.